Are you good? Sir. Billy, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, no, go. When, when did you find out that you were going to be starting this game? Uh, Wednesday afternoon this week. What What's the thought that goes through your head mm -hmm. in that moment? Try not to make it too big. Um, definitely know some nerves throughout the week. Obviously a lot more distractions that, you know, came my way, but Wednesday afternoon I found out and I, you know, I tried to just keep the same mindset I had the whole year and just, you know, prepare the right way. After the first couple possessions, was there a level of comfort that you felt? Yeah. If, if you could describe that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, those first couple drives, I was just trying to get, you know, my feet underneath me. Obviously, you know, trust my eyes, trust my feet, stick to my training, make, make the correct reads. And I think after it was the, the first drive that we finished in the second quarter when we flipped, uh, flipped the field, at the end of the first quarter, I felt, you know, that was when I got my most comfortable, you know, got my feet underneath me, started seeing things a little bit better, and then was able to kind of, you know, put a little drive together there right before the half and, and in the beginning of the second quarter. The touchdown pass to Rockham, what was the play? What was the, what, what did you see in the execution? Yeah, we just had a, we had a good structure set up to the field. Um, we had, a, you know, our outside guy ran off, uh, you know, ran off the safety and the corner followed him. And then Rakeem, I was sitting there looking at that and Rakeem just kind of came right open underneath them. And, I don't think there was a defender within 10 yards. Mm -hmm. I just tried to, you know, give a nice little air, not throw him out of bounds, let him catch it, turn, mm -hmm. and get in the end zone like he did. So it's a good one. How much mm -hmm. pressure did it take off you just to be able to sometimes hand off the ball to Roman and have him oh, do a lot, what he did? Oh, definitely a lot. I mean, I think we had a really good game plan coming in here. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our RPOs, they just sat there. They didn't really, didn't really give me many throw reads on those. Um, and it obviously, you know, makes your job a lot easier when you got the mm -hmm. offensive line and, and Roman today, you know, feeding the hot hand. He was, he was on fire. So it made my job a lot easier. For most of the game, you were uh, escaping pressure, as though you've been doing this your whole life. Is, is that your style to be able to extend the plays that long? Uh, I, would, I don't know if it's my style, but I mean, I definitely you know think I can extend the plays with my feet when I need to. Um, I think sometimes, you know, I definitely got a little bit undisciplined and kind of had my eyes down at the rush. Where there were times I could have kept my eyes downfield and you know, made, throwing the ball downfield to an open receiver. Um, obviously, that's something you know I'll have to continue to, to develop and get better on as as my career goes on, but. You know, sometimes you're going to have days like that where they're bringing all sorts of type of pressure, so you're going to have to extend plays and, and find guys downfield. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. I felt like there were a lot of free rushers coming in today. What contributed to that? Um, I mean, they had a bye week before here, so that, you know, hats to them. They had a pretty good game plan coming in. Um, we made the right adjustments at halftime up front uh, with the protection and all sort of thing like that. But they, they definitely had, you know, a couple good good pressures in the first half where they hadn't shown on tape all year. And obviously, you know, we had to make that that halftime adjustment to come out in the second half and be able to pick it up and make you know make the right reads and whatnot. How did the first and second half? Um, there was a major difference in where you started the drive. Is there a change of mindset uh, when you're going like 50 yards rather than like 80 or 90? Uh, it definitely makes it easier. Um, I mean, I think the biggest difference is when, you know, we're backed up inside our own 10 or 15. Because uh, for them, they, you know, they're a pretty different defensive team. You know, they, they call some different pressure, some different looks we'll get, we're going to get. Um, so there was a couple of times we got close to, you know, being backed up. Uh, but it definitely, you know, short field is always nice. Obviously, it takes a lot of pressure off us to, you know, have to go 85 yards or whatnot. So we had a couple uh, short fields definitely in the second half that helped us out a lot. Were you the DMV native coming in here getting a start today? How, how did it feel just to, to lead this team to a win here? It was cool. It was cool. It was a really cool experience. You know, when I walked out there on the first snap and they announced I was starting and my back was to the student section to feel all of them, you know, all the energy, all the fans. It was it was definitely a cool experience. And, you know, that's why when I entered the portal, I, I made the decision to come here, you know, to stay close to home and, and get a chance to play Division One football and, you know, reach all my dreams and, and goals that, that I set for myself both on the field and off the field here at the University of Maryland. So it was definitely, you know, a surreal experience. Another quick one. Uh, I think it was after the touchdown to Rockham. I saw Talia came up and just was like jumping on both you guys, and yep. everybody was smiling. Um, what's what's the quarterback room like, and, and how, what's it like to kind of know that when you're stepping in, he's out there so excitedly supporting you? The quarterback room as a whole one is is we are it is an awesome group. We, you know, we have a lot of good jokes. Uh, we all push each other. You know, help each other out on the field, off the field things doesn't matter what it is. And then obviously Talia's support coming into this game. Um, between every drive, whether we went three and out, we went 15 plays and scored, whatever. Obviously, right before the half, when I threw the ball into the ground to, to see Deitch on the one where the ball slipped out, he came up. He's like, forget about it, you know, onto the next. And, and his support was, you know, obviously, you know, took a little bit of pressure off me to, you know, have that support and obviously have someone that is experienced as him, you know, give me some pointers and, and help me out throughout the game. So it was, it was 
Talia's been awesome this past week and obviously the whole season, but definitely, you know, supporting me through this this past week. So on that play to Corey, the ball wasn't tipped, it just slipped out of your hands? No, it just slipped. It was mm -hmm. one that I'll, I want to have back for the rest of my career, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Obviously, it was good to get points, but, you know, we wanted the touchdown and mm -hmm. it happened, you know, slipped out of my hand, so got to move on to the next play. I know, I know you talk about not making the moment bigger than it is, but when you're walking out onto the field and the game's tied and there are a few minutes to go, like, do, do you – feel anything in that moment? That... Yes and no. I mean, I think that was probably, toward, as the game obviously went on, I think I got a lot more calm and, and it didn't really, you know, mm -hmm. I think that was when I felt better mm -hmm. than the beginning, but obviously, you know, hats off to offensive line, the receivers coming down and, and digging out safeties. Cause that one drive when we went out there and it was tied and I turned around and hand the ball to Roman, it was obviously very, you know, you could take a deep breath when you see him go, I think mm -hmm. it was like 75 yards or whatever it was. So that was obviously, you know, good. It's just, there he goes. So had to, had to chase him down, but yeah, it was good. But look at that smile on your face. Is is that one of your dream scenarios of being a quarterback? You come out, the band's playing, you're on TV, and you win the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, I think there's a lot to learn from. Obviously, as a team, you know, I don't think we played our best game, but definitely me individually, as as my first career mm -hmm. start, there's a lot of things I'm going to want to have back. But it's always better, you know, to come back and watch film Monday, Tuesday with a win and, you know, look at those mistakes and, and corrections and things that you can learn from. So it definitely felt good, you know, get the victory um, going into the bye week for sure. Really known that you were going to start on Wednesday. Were you able to get more folks up from Fairfax County to, to Oh, be yeah, watch no doubt. I had, I had a good amount of people from Lake Braddock, um, a couple old high school teammates, a bunch of my old coaches, um, all, a bunch of my family, you know. it was I had a good crowd. I, I obviously tried to, to get that situation figured out earlier in the week so I didn't have to worry about it as the week went on. But, you know, they did a good job. Um, they kind of knew, you know, that I wanted to focus in on my things, and, and you know, they handled their business, their you know, their end, and, and I handled mine, so it worked out well. Have you seen your family yet? I have. Was, nope. was your dad excited? Yeah, it was good. I told him I was like, I was like, be honest, Dad, what, how was it? Good, bad, and ugly, and he was like, you're fine, you know, a lot to learn from. So <laughs> typical, typical dad response, especially as a coach. So yeah. I'm sure I'll, you know, I'll watch it with him uh, here within the next week or so as well, and I'm sure he'll give me his opinion. So, but it was all, all good, all hugs and smiles. What's it mean to contribute to the win that gets you guys bowl eligible? It means a lot. Um, definitely, you know, with, with the whole situation of me coming in and starting this week, I just obviously wanted to, to do my job and, and help us win in whatever fashion that was. Um, that way, you know, going into the bye week, we were bowl eligible, but we still had all our goals in front of us. You know, whenever Leah comes back, it was all smooth sailing mm -hmm. from there. So it's, it's definitely a good feeling. Like I said, I, I definitely made a lot of mistakes and things I can learn from, but to be able to get the win today was obviously the most important thing, so it feels good. Did you see? Did you see Johari's cartwheel after Roman's last session? <laughs> yeah, I was like 50 yards away trying to trying to catch up to him, and I saw it, and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely, you know, pretty. I don't even think I could have done that. So that was definitely a very athletic thing from Johari. But good. Thanks, man. Thank you, Billy.